Zeke Marshall here. It's been a while. I am back from Nebraska after I went to a pro showcase. If people follow me on my Facebook, you have seen that. I know I haven't, I haven't posted on YouTube for a while, but I'm sick of this low quality video that you're seeing right now. The only why I, this is happening because I don't have the uh, the creative space to really express myself. And I'm just being honest. That's why this YouTube journey is going to be a very long, arduous process. I know I'm, you know, it is what it is when it comes to me how I get these videos out. But, uh, you know, I, I do want to post something because I've been thinking about this. So I think this is a good time to just say something as in like a video diary or video log. And I'm just calling these video logs essentially until I'm able to edit videos like I want to. Anyway, that's my done my quick rambling. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is our, this camp and some of the players I met there. Uh, I want to say this to my audience as uh, a spokesperson of, of a professional basketball player, a current professional basketball player. Um, because there ain't a lot of people who are doing this. A lot of people don't realize that you need these teams. They don't need you, especially if you're not a pretty, as my AAU coach used to say, a pretty girl. He said, a pretty girl gets more chances. I, in particular, is a pretty girl. I'm a seven-footer. I will almost always get an opportunity to play overseas on a team. Now, it might not be the best opportunity that I would like, but I got, will always get an opportunity because I'm seven-foot. There's not a lot of seven-footers. And I try to leverage that, which is what I'm doing now. But for the six-foot point guard or... The 5'10 point guard or the shooting guard. There, you, there are so many you guys. So many. So. You can't mess it up. By. Like, well let me not say you can't mess it up. You can't afford to make mistakes. Uh, you can't afford to take shortcuts. You gotta get every little extra piece. It's like a video game. Like you know sometimes you can go fight the final boss. You don't really need to get potions. But then, you know, if you're barely leveled up, but you gotta utilize every buff, every little potion, every everything, you gotta utilize everything. You need to just each you know, squeeze your squeeze past that boss. That is where a lot of you guys are in that. You're you're in that situation. You're in a situation where you can't afford to be late. You can't afford to be arguing or quitting on a play. You can't allow people to get into your head. Because the moment you crack, they go somewhere else. Because they can find more guards like you. Now, I'm saying this as in to a lot of the players who came, who went to my, um, who went to the showcase of mine in Nebraska. I was ran by Stephon Bradford. Uh, had nothing but good things to say about him and what he's trying to do. And he said the exact same thing. And I'm sure he's going to say it again on his Facebook Live. But what is wrong with some of you kids? And that's, how the, I, that's literally what I have to call you now. Kids. You're kids. You don't know how to accept responsibility. And you're not accountable. And you don't want to hold accountability. So that means you're a child. An adult carries responsibility for their actions and be accountable when things don't go well or when they do go well, regardless. If you're not capable of doing that, I don't want to say you're not a man. Like, a man, uh, we have adapted to accept responsibility. We have to. Like, if a freaking aliens came down right now, we can't just sit here and as men be like, oh, you know what? We're not going to defend them. We're just going to let them kill all of us and take over. Because the women are going to truly all step up. Not saying that there won't be some who will, but for the most part, as a species, he's not going to be able to step up and stop the aliens. We, have, we hold that burden. So not just men, but in general. Like, you better find that fire. And I'm speaking to the men here in this particular situation. You better find out fire in your heart. You got to accept accountability. When someone says don't be late, you don't be late. That's professional courtesy. And you think you'll get a job and you can't even show professional courtesy? Like, you don't even have the accolades to challenge it. 
and you're walking in late when these coaches are watching for teams in France and teams in, uh, in Israel and they're watching these live streams and you just oh I'm walking in late like this baffles me honestly you know how hard I had to work to survive the eight years I did play and I'm still working Now, this doesn't go for just our pro athletes, but this is for absolutely everyone. When you are looking to ask someone else for something that you want, because that is what you all do when you want a promotion. You're asking your boss, can you give me a promotion? Because you don't have the power to give yourself a promotion, do you? So when you're going to everyone else, don't destroy your chances by not showing professional courtesy. It shouldn't be told to you that you shouldn't be late. It should be expected that you're not going to be late. A lot of people were late. A lot of people walked in 10 minutes before a game starts. How do you expect to be ready when you have teams in Israel and like they're watching these games and you're not fully prepared? What are you going to say? Oh, I didn't stretch. They don't care. Like I said, this this video is is to is it baffles me that that this generation and I hate to call it that. Like I'm 30 years old. How am I calling this generation? Like it's it's amazing how much change happens within the eight years. And maybe it's my maturity and what I've had to go through, but. A lot of you guys are gonna get are gonna get jobs. It is what it is. I'm just gonna tell you straight off. You're not gonna get a job. And if you do, you won't last. There's a reason why veterans in particular are worth more overseas. Because that means they have a track record of getting things done. Because most likely, after three, four years, if you're not getting things done, you won't have a job anymore. No one will pick you up. Which is why anyone who goes longer than that innately is more valuable now once again I have said about this is pro basketball but this goes for any job any career path you gotta learn to accept accountability and professional courtesy when you're asking for something that someone else has because you don't have it you can't give yourselves a professional job a professional basketball job so, don't, once again, I'll say it one more time. Don't harm your chances. Show up on time. Work your work hard. Make sure they don't forget you. Do the little things. Don't let other people get in your head. I watch so many of these basic, basic issues. Like, yes, there, there's, some lever, there's some leeway on how much you can let things bother you. But for the most part, when you're a pro, they don't care. Like, you can't afford to let other teams get you down. Because if you have two bad games, three bad games, you go home. So you can't afford to do that. You can't afford to mess up. You mess yourself up. And this is my warning for all those young kids. You guys are letting other people get you out of your game. And you, and you don't even have a job yet. And you think someone's going to you think you're gonna be in Europe, Turkey, China. Nah, oh, man, that's not how this works. I'll be surprised you last a season. Reps, all that stuff. There needs to be a professional. You must have a professional mindset walking into becoming a professional a basketball player, athlete in general. Because you can't afford, you can't, you're not allowed to make mistakes because it costs you money. In one way or not, either they score more points, which costs you money, because if they win, you lose and you don't get a bonus or anything else doesn't matter, or you, someone else takes your spot. So that's my uh, quick rant. Uh, I might throw up another video after this because um, I might have some other thoughts. But in Baylor in particular, I just wanted to address that that you young kids got to do better. 
you don't gotta as I said in my in my video about your, uh, how important first impressions are. You don't have a career right now, so walking around like you think you have one, yeah, you won't have one. All right, 